In May of 2018, 19-year-old Michael Buskey was found dead in the woods near his Plymouth apartment. His death was ruled a suicide, but after further investigation, police arrested Buskey's roommate, Parker Hogan, and charged him with causing or aiding a suicide involving death and falsifying physical evidence. Today, as he prepares to go on trial, Hogan's defense asked Judge Lawrence McLeod to deny any clothing or signage with images of Buskey inside his courtroom. A motion McLeod approved. It's the court's obligation to make sure the defendant has a fair trial, so that the jury uh, reaches, uh, makes factual determinations and reaches a verdict if it does based on the evidence. I just want to keep his memory alive. You know. Buskey's mother, Jennifer Phelps, has worn this t-shirt donning his picture to just about every hearing for Hogan. I'm trying to understand, I guess, you know, the way there's, you know, the judge is seeing it. I'm not pleased, but we can still have him outside the you know, courthouse. And, well, trust me, there'll be plenty of pictures and, <laughs> and stuff there. So. Phelps says she is just relieved the trial is moving forward. We'll get the closure that, you know, that we, you know, we need and we deserve. I mean, it's definitely going to be rough. You know, but we're, we're all anxious, you know, for it to just to happen and to, to, you know, finally close the chapter. And now Parker Hogan's trial will begin next Monday in Grafton Superior Court. Live in the studio, I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.